Welcome to the show. Thank you for watching. This is Dan Udy with A1 Carpet Care and it's January 7th. I can't believe we're a week into the new year 2020. I haven't missed one day vlogging and I'm so proud of myself. Today's episode is going to be really fun. You're going to get to see an inside peek into one of the two B&I meetings that we attend every single week. And you're going to get to go on a trip with me and Angela to clean one of the most challenging jobs we have scheduled for the entire week. And it's not challenging because of the carpet, it's challenging because we want to move all the furniture clean underneath it and move it back. So stay tuned, you're gonna see some tricks on how we do that, why we do that, and what the benefits are. Stay tuned for more. Hey Marilyn, do you want to hear my 60 second presentation for B&I? Please? Angela, do you want to hear my 60 second presentation for B&I? Again? Again? Dan Udy, A1 Carpet Care, your carpet, floor, and upholstery cleaning professional. Last week we received a phone call from our local newspaper informing us that we had won Best of Camden for the eighth year in a row for our category of carpet cleaning. This was big news to our small company because even though we compete with several other very high quality floor cleaning companies, we are dominating in our local county. But with only 52,000 people in our whole county, we're looking to rapidly expand down into Nassau County over the next year. We have very ambitious goals set for 2020, but we need your help to achieve those goals. So our specific ask this week is that you subscribe to our local YouTube channel, or not local, <laughs> so that you subscribe to our, our YouTube channel and watch one or more of our short, fun daily vlogs to help in, inform yourself about what we do and how we do it. This will make it easy to refer our company to your friends, family, and neighbor. Why are you looking at me like that? Give me the stank eye. I can't do this presentation like that. So I'm headed to B&I. This morning, first things first, we've only got five jobs on the book, so not too busy, not too bad. We got one estimate, and it's gonna be a great day. It's still O Dark 30. Tracy, you ready? Oh, there you go. I'm not, I'm a Thank you. Dr. K, say hi. Doing a little vlog. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is my B&I chapter down in, uh, down in Dooley. A lot of visitors here this morning. Um, great turnout. Heard me high, you don't give me on the block. But yeah, great turnout. A lot of energy. Feeling good. Just wanted to get a shot for everybody. I'll show you why I come down here. We'll be out of here at 9:30, and then it's straight to clean. Carving up a nice little vegan treat. We're headed down. It's about a 50 minute commute. Go do this job for uh, my buddy Rich. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. Angela's really, really excited because we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of furniture moving. She loves furniture moving. Just kidding. Nobody loves furniture moving. First step, we came in and identified trouble areas, spots, stains, kind of took the time to educate the expectations of our client and also identify the type of fiber, the level of soil, and also we wanted to put sliders under all the furniture that we were going to be moving to make it easier to move that furniture around. When it comes to moving heavy dressers, even nightstands, but definitely big, large, heavy beds, these little sliders that you can buy pretty much anywhere, Walmart has a bunch of them, but any store like that, they're really affordable and they make it so much easier to move the furniture around. It literally just slides right back and forth. Once we slide the furniture away from the wall and move it clean underneath and then slide it back, we actually remove those sliders and replace that with either little plastic tabs or blue styrofoam blocks. And you'll see that toward the end of the video. This job didn't have any pieces of furniture that were too heavy. And you can see we put some of the smaller items up on the bed, 
but for the jobs where there's really heavy furniture, it is kind of nice to always work in teams like we do because one person can lift, like say the side of a heavy dresser while the other person slides the two sliders underneath and then do the same thing on the other side. And then of course, one of the most important jobs, the first step after we get the inspection done is commercial vacuuming. And here you can see Angela, that vacuum right there is called the workhorse and it's a great commercial vacuum. So we remove as much of the dry soil as we can, like sand, dirt, and hair with the commercial vacuuming. We then start setting everything up. We run our neoprene mats to protect the floor, bring in our tools, run the hoses, and mix up our preconditioning treatment. Once we get everything set up, we start to apply the preconditioning treatment to all the fibers of the carpet. This is kind of a slow and tedious process, so we kind of sped it up to make it a little bit faster for you guys to watch. In a lot of cases, you're actually able to see a pretty dramatic difference just by applying the soap-free detergent to the, to the face yarn. Over the last 12 years, we've tried pretty much every single solution available on the market, and we've identified what we feel like is a great selection of some of the top brands and labels on the market. In addition to cleaning a lot of residential homes, we also have a lot of commercial carpet that we clean. So we have chemicals for each application, but usually inside of a residential home, we're using a very safe and extremely effective preconditioner. Some of our clients prefer there not to be any odor or scent, and other clients like a nice fresh smell as we're applying the soap-free detergent. So we try to take note of that and accommodate as well. Because we get a lot of calls from clients that have pets in their home, several of our carpet cleaning solutions have chemistry that helps to alleviate pet issues as well. As you can probably imagine, over the last 12 years, we have seen not everything, but we have come across some of the most interesting and challenging jobs you can possibly imagine. By far the worst odor damage we've come across is cats that sprayed all up the walls. And we've seen that several times over the years and learned the hard way that sometimes the best thing we can do with a job that challenging is to recommend um, that they rip it out and basically hire a remediation company. Most of the preconditioning treatments that we apply also work better with a dwell time. This is simply an amount of time where you basically let the preconditioning treatment marinate into the fibers. Because we agitate the preconditioner into the face yarn with either a counter-rotating brush machine or some other type of tool, we almost always have ample dwell time for the chemistry to really do its job. You can very safely and effectively apply this preconditioning treatment with a number of different tools, a pump-up sprayer or, like we use here, an inline sprayer. One of the main benefits of an inline sprayer is because this is being diluted four to one, four parts water and one part solution, we're able to apply, in this case, five gallons of preconditioning treatment by simply carrying around a one gallon container. When it comes to agitating the preconditioner into the stairs, what we found is a tool, this particular tool works really, really well. We also have a 10 inch CRB or counter rotating brush machine that works really well for agitating the preconditioner into the face yarn on the stairs comes to agitating carpet, nothing seems to be more effective than a counter-rotating brush machine. This is our 15-inch model. The first one we purchased was a 20-inch, but because we have Angela and Sunny, another female technician, we decided to buy a 10-inch and a 15-inch because it's a lot lighter to carry. We have two 10-inches now and this 15-inch, which I particularly like most because we're able to get more carpet scrubbed in a faster period of time. In the wonderful world of professional carpet cleaning, a counter-rotating brush machine has to be one of the most versatile tools. Not only is it probably the most incredible design for massaging the preconditioner into the face yarn of the carpet, it also at the same time is able to dig out and remove even more debris after a commercial vacuuming. The trays you see on both the front and back of this machine that have the words renovator are to hold and capture any of the debris like sand, hair, and dirt that this machine again pulls up out of the carpet while it gently scrubs the preconditioner into the face yarn. A very close second to the hot water extraction or steam cleaning, this particular machine has an amazing ability to draw a lot of attention from our clients. 
even when we come across customers that have had their carpets professionally cleaned before, and in some cases for many, many years, most of the time they've actually never seen a counter-rotating brush machine. It's a very impressive piece of machinery. It wasn't until I started to watch YouTube videos several years ago that I actually even became aware of this machine. For almost a decade, all we really did in professional carpet cleaning, if you can call it that, was come in, apply a preconditioner without commercial vacuuming, and then basically extract it. Even though we were able to get really, really good results, we can't even compare the results that we get now with just adding a few more steps to our cleaning process. Because it does take a lot longer to do carpet cleaning the right way and the way that we do it now, we have had to increase our pricing a little bit, but our clients are so much happier to pay that increase in price to get the level of service that we now offer. Not only is this one of our favorite tools, for carpet cleaning, it also helps a lot with scrubbing the solution into the tile and grout as well. Also, we've been able to clean wood floors with this machine. After we're done carefully agitating all the face yarn with our counter-rotating brush machine, we start the last step or hot water extraction. A lot of people call it steam cleaning. And as you can clearly see here, anytime we're doing a job where the client prefers we clean underneath the furniture, we move the furniture away from the walls first clean behind it, move it back, and then we place little pieces of foam blocks or plastic tabs to protect the fibers from the furniture. Because of the type of machines we use, all of our hot water extraction or steam cleaning is coming out of the wand of over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature of the water alone ensures really, really good results and very effective cleaning. thing you're going to see us do here is remove a red stain with a steamer and a solution called red relief. The process is really simple. We just spray a little bit of the solution and then turn the steamer on and set it in place and let it do its magic. This usually takes about five or ten minutes to completely remove the stain.
not bad for two rooms, a stairs, and a hallway. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you could like, share, and subscribe, I would very much appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow for another episode.